Hey y'all, let's continue Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2. That's what I said. It's been kind of a drizzly, misty December day here, but also very warm, which is a weird combination. It's kind of uncomfortable. Right, where were we? Still in the police station, obviously. I've got a virgin heart and a bomb in debt. So I think we can go blow up the helicopter, which is mercifully no longer on fire, and uh, use the virgin heart in the art room. So that makes our path pretty clear, I think. second floor. I've got okay ammo. We'll see. My Sazabi behind me is coming along nicely. I'm actually working on one of the big shoulder pauldrons, which is not attached right now, so I can't see any progress. Who's over here? Just this guy. I think last time we were able to dodge him by just backing him over into this wide section. Let's go. Hey. You always feel like such a leap gamer when you can dodge a zombie like that. zombies over here. Apparently not. often strange to me what they decide to do like a full pre-rendered FMV for and what they don't. Alright, that is half of a blue stone. And we saw a yellow one through the window of the interrogation room down in the basement. Now we'll just continue on. Yeah, do I need to use this here? There we go. Boy, I think I would have run further away from that explosion. <laughs>
what does this room look like? Okay, one, two, three, three rooms. If there are zombies, I think my plan is to pop them with the 9mm, and if I run out of ammo, I'll turn around and run back to the box and get my bow gun. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed, miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy, and she will turn into a zombie within the hour, like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. I think that taxidermy used to be my hobby, but no longer. Please, I'd really like to be alone now. All right, so this guy's creep factor is over 9,000. He does kind of raise an interesting point about exactly how the zombies work in this world, whether getting bitten by a zombie inevitably leads to your death and becoming a zombie or whether everybody's infected and just whenever you die you will be a zombie afterwards. I've kind of got this pet theory that the thing that makes the Resident Evil main characters the main characters is that for whatever reason they're actually immune to the virus, which is why we can follow their adventures and you know we get bit all the time, but we never actually turn into a zombie. Or if we do, it's only after you die anyway, so you're not around to see it. Resident Evil is never totally clear on the rules of how that worked. There's not nearly as much preoccupation as in something like The Walking Dead about who's been bitten and who hasn't been bitten and who's going to turn and that kind of stuff. A stuffed animal. I mean, technically true. <laughs> oh, it's a stuffed animal. artifacts, man. game you're the one that taught me that sometimes there are invisible nine millimeter bullets everywhere so i have to check oh hey ah! wait let me go easy easy there i'm not a zombie you're safe now <laughs> mm. 
Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. All right, well, time to explore the room. Some of the animation in this game is really good. Like the animation of Sherry trying to pull away from Claire, I think is really good. And Sherry's talking animation was very expressive. But Claire is doing the usual character talking thing in this game where like the whole time they're talking, they're like making hand motions with flat hands like up and down, which is really weirdly distracting to me. Heck yeah, buddy. Secretary's Diary B. Let's see, if this is at the back of Chief Iron's private office, probably that means that he found the Secretary's Diary. June 8th. As I was straightening up the Chief's room, he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. The last time was when I bumped into that statue, only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment that he was going to hurt me. June 15th. I finally discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out that I know, my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. The end. Alright. Oh, I can't turn the light out on my way out. <laughs> I like games where you can close doors behind you. I mean, I guess in this game they close automatically, but... I sure will. Chief's Diary. September 23rd. It's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may even be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in town if this turns out to be true. September 24th. I was successful in spreading confusion among the police as planned. I've made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in police actions, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. September 26th. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe in pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. 
He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the pose I choose to give her. Definitely the kind of thoughts you write down in a diary and then leave behind you to be found as extremely incriminating evidence. There we go. The sacrifice dies by the claw of the jaguar. Its blood forms a serpent that poisons the earth. An eagle glistens bathed in blood. And the gateway of doom will open. Okay. Is this our last key? No, it can't be because there are still green doors that we haven't opened. But that red door will be our next target for sure. Too bad the half of bluestone that we found isn't complete because we could go ahead and put it in and get it out of our inventory. Okay, so what's my pathing like? Do I want to go out the outside fire escape? Yeah, I think that's a better route. Is there anything I want to go dump off in the box? Probably the first aid spray, honestly. I definitely have enough green herbs. Don't need green herbs if you don't get bit. Or pecked by a burb, now that I'm thinking about it as I go down this hallway. Alright, that was uneventful. That's good. Just cutting through. You only use the heart key in one place in this game? That's crazy. Alright, great. You know, the keys being coded to suits in a deck of cards, it never actually forms a puzzle of any kind. There's nothing you need to do, there are no cards to play with. But it feels like a puzzle, even though it's just, you know... I think it should be keys A, B, C, D, but it's kind of a neat small touch. What does this hallway look like? Just one hallway. This is the other place I could use the cable. I could use that right now. Oh. text. That takes a quote. I think this is our first time in the basement. Also, I feel underloaded with just a pistol. Oh. 
All right, let's be brave. Oh no, it's dogs. I thought it was liquors. Get me through a door. Hey. <laughs> That might change my calculus a little bit. If they're just dogs, I might shoot the dogs. With apologies to my two dogs who are both sleeping within vision of me right now. <laughs> At least they won't be able to hear that horrible yelp noise dogs in video games make when you shoot them. I would love an accessibility feature to turn off dog yelping noises. It like hurts my soul a little bit. All right, not too much going on. Reserve power control panel. Oh, I guess we're going to move these one at a time. Okay. It looks like we're aiming for 80, and we're looking to not go over 100. So let's start with up. Okay, better go down. Oh, no, I went down less. They don't all do... Oh, up is 36, down is 14. I couldn't see it because of the puzzle text on the screen. All right, that wasn't too hard. It's like that scene in Apollo 13 where um, Gary Sinise has to figure out how to boot up all the systems on the module without exceeding the power requirements. It's kind of a simple puzzle, but it actually has some kind of grounding in real life, which is a really good thing for puzzles in a game like this. I hate it when it's just like a contri contrived like Towers of Hanoi or Pipe Dream or something. Alright, so from here we're going to run right and try to get in the door real quick. I do not have a card. Wrong. Oh no! Hey, he hit me around the corner. Not cool, doggo. I'm still fine. Can I get a Coke? sure nothing bad is ever going to come through that giant blank wall with cracks running through it. <laughs> oh man, how many green herbs are down here? Can't go any further. I mean... Lord knows when I'll get to a box, but I'm kind of planning to only come through this area once, so... something. That takes a card reader. That takes a club key. So now we're going to run all the way to the end of the hallway and go through that kind of big yellow door. But do I want to shoot the dogs on the way? Nah, I got more green herbs than I know what to do with. You know what? Now it's time to just run. Let's go. Okay, okay, stop. Stop, please. Right. Uh, uh. 
I'm not sure that went as well as I wanted it to. <laughs> Should have been counting my bullets, apparently. Alright, alright. Boy, things I would never do in real life. I think Claire is braver than I am. I'm not always sure what I would be doing in all these situations, but... some of this pile of loose green herbs I've got. Because the red-green combos are more valuable because they only take one inventory spot when you're going into combat. If you know you're going into a boss fight or something. Oh, and I only need one. Okay, that's great. And also, it might be about time to bring a different weapon because I'm almost out of this pistol ammo anyway, so... Let's take the bow gun. And maybe when I'm heading back in the direction where that cord would be useful, I'll take that. But not just yet. Oh, and I got the yellow stone. I didn't remember getting that. Okay, so I've got the yellow and half a blue. And red. We only need half a blue stone! Ah! We are much closer than I thought we were. It's been too long since I played last, I guess. Forgot what all we've got. Alright, we've got tons of ink ribbons. I think it's time to save. We haven't done anything too challenging, but at a certain point, watching unskippable cutscenes, you don't want to watch the unskippable cutscenes anymore. Storeroom R. I think this Boga needs to go chick chick like Kendo's did when he aimed it. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. Sherry! Sherry! Sherry's necklace is missing. I'm not sure how she lost that. And we're Sherry. All right. New playable character. What is this picture? A picture taken fairly recently. Okay. Okay. 
Where are we? What are we doing? We're in sewage disposal. Looks like the garden elevator from Resident Evil 1. Hi, doggo. Don't mind me. No, Sherry. No. Oh, no. <laughs> this is bad. Not quite yet. Keep going. Watch a little girl get savaged by Dobermans. That's what she came to the street for. Oof. Oh, there's a whole door I missed too. Well. I mean, does Sherry have any use for these? There's a way to avoid pulling the dog's aggro, like if you walk on quiet spots or something. I guess I'm not well versed enough in the mechanics of how the dogs work, but it feels random when they tag on to you. Okay, so not much more to this place. to fill and drain water. Oh, I know what this puzzle is going to be. It's going to be a move the blocks into a line puzzle. Yeah. We did something similar in Resident Evil 1 in the basement of the guest house. Zombie. Okay, so this is interesting. How do you do this? Can you get see, no, you can't get behind that one. You can't pull them. closer to the wall. No. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do this. I'm not sure how to get that one out of line. I may have to exit the room and reset, but we'll try and fill the water and see what happens. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Hmm.
How do I do this? Oh, I can climb up and over him. Okay, okay. Got it. I was thinking very two-dimensionally. Get up there, Sherry. I'm not a speedrunner. This whole section of the game must be torture to speedrunners because there's just not that much going on. It's like it's neat to play as a second character, and it's kind of neat to play as a more helpless character. But gameplay-wise, it's just not super interesting. Okay, all of that to get the club key. Anything else over here? And now we're just going back, I guess. Yep. Go out and left. Oh, you know what? Try not to die. Let's just go ahead. Yeah, let's not die. I would like to not replay the very slow block puzzle. Excuse me, dog. Excuse me, dog. Are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here! Here's another! Hey, I do get those grenades. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Sherry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! Y'all are in a construction site. There are like hoses and cables everywhere, including ones that I can see on this screen. Just like throw a cable for. Her. Okay, do we save after all the boring stuff? Uh, I mean, the question is, am I gonna die? That's kind of on me, huh? Yeah, we've got so many ink ribbons and things are getting more lethal. Yeah, I think we save. Maybe I even bring these stones with me. And we go put in the ones we can on our way. What does the 
R in storeroom R stand for, I wonder? We're in the basement. You think it'd be like storeroom B or something? We can go in that club door now, so let's do that. I'd still rather not waste ammo on these zombie dogs. Oh no, that's not a zombie dog! No, go in, Claire, go! Oh no! I guess that makes me double glad that I did not spend ammo on the dogs since they were just replaced with liquors. Oh. Okay. I got a bow gun and I got plenty of ammo. They're not registered as enemies yet. Oh my lord. run out of there did you see me run out of there could not have run any faster okay okay very good very good let's go use this card key but we got to get around this liquor first so walk right if you need to because it's wider over there yeah i'm gonna get around this guy running running Nope. Okay, we'll go in there. Sure. Any port in a storm. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, I don't like it. Which way is he facing? I can't even tell. Really gonna walk towards him when I can't see where he is. Okay, okay. Unfortunately, he's right under the card reader. Use the card, use the card. Hitting X, hitting X. Yes. And the card is gone. Perfect. Those will stack. See, now I'm going to regret bringing so much stuff. There's a machine gun and a side pack. With the side pack, I can carry more items. Why in the world would you be constrained to take only one or the other of these things? Well... I feel like I've been pretty good about conserving ammo, and we are out of inventory space right now. I'm not sure offhand if Leon has a more constrained inventory than Claire or not. I'm not sure what the best choice is here. I, I say that because I think in the B scenario, the other character that you play as will get whatever you don't pick up here. I think that's how this works. I've never played the B scenario, but I think that's why they make you make this decision. Um. Let's see, Claire's got a pistol, a bow gun, a grenade launcher. Is that enough to beat the game with, or do we need the machine gun too? You know what, if I take the machine gun, I can't take anything else in this room anyway, so let's take the side pack. I mean, yeah, I'll equip it, jeez. Yeah. 
They black out the scene while the side pack is being equipped like she's changing clothes or something. Just put it on your belt, Claire. <laughs> you don't have to make us turn around. Okay, so our inventory is enormous now. There you go. I should probably save it for later on. Oh, I could. I could take both of them. No. No, we'll throw Leon a bone. Since I am planning on playing as him later. Okay. I may regret this. Who knows? Who knows? I'm not playing with the strategy guy in front of me. Okay, so I think we're done down here. I think the club key is the main thing we needed. So let's go left and then left down the hallway up the stairs. Hopefully this liquor is not right in front of the door when we come out. Oh, he kind of is. Ooh. We may have to run. Yep, yeah, let's go. I should have ducked in the hall. Go. I can't believe that went as well as it did, okay. I still didn't bring the darn cable. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Nothing useful. This is like an employee break room. That's kind of what it looks like. Nothing in this locker. Okay. Sir, are you okay? Sir? Let me scoop that up. Watchman's Diary. August 11th. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. It's not a horror game without a clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way that he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? September 9th. Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagine that can match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Oh, that's probably this guy. Oh no. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Oh. All right, I don't think there was anything plot relevant in here unless I missed something. So we're going to go right back through that long room. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, here it comes. The part where I regret not having the cable with me. Uh, let's stay away from the windows. Um, yeah, sure. Do I need to run back to an item box? It'd be pretty easy to go back out to the main hall, I think. Yeah, I'll just be right in that corner next to it, so I'll probably run back out to the main hall and drop some stuff in the box. Right as soon as I dodge through these guys. Now, how are they set up? Is this side okay? Uh, yeah. Alright. Some stuff, I don't know if my luck is just all over the place, but some stuff that seems hard is easy, and some stuff that seems easy is hard. Like, I nearly died from those dogs a minute ago, and yet I dodged out of the morgue with all the zombies waking up, I dodged out past a bunch of liquors, no problems. stick with the bow gun for now. Alright, my key. These stones I'm gonna put in. Green herb. I think that's good. Do I need to save? I never know. Let's see, we got this room over here. And then we'll go back to the chief's office. And then out and through whatever's up there. Let's not. Second floor? No, first floor. This main hallway is one that I cleared out at least. So, a liquor and something that we need that's on the other side of the liquor, presumably. No, don't touch on me already. Man, I'm having trouble walking around these guys without pulling aggro on them. Maybe as soon as I go in the door I start shooting? Is the bowgun strong enough to kill it? These are the decisions. shot over it. That's not what I wanted. No, see? Oh, we've got to do a puzzle in here? Oh, yeah. Let's stop trading blows. That's not a good plan. Let's run. Let's go. Nope, 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 nope. I guess. Oh, 
Do I shoot down? Or is it at an awkward distance where I can't shoot straight at it and I can't shoot down? Oh wait, it's moving. Okay. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. You can light a fire here. I don't... I didn't bring a lighter. Oh no. It's totally messed up. Okay. Torch is at 11, 12, 13. the queen, the king, and the jack. Then the carriage will start running. 11, 12, 13 must be the values of the jack, queen, and king. Okay, I need to come back here with the lighter. And maybe full health. I was not prepared for that room. Oh boy. There's no danger between me and an item box. Save two to match with red herbs. How full would your pockets have to be that you could not fit a lighter in your pockets along with whatever else you're carrying? Now, am I really going to go develop this film? I mean, I guess I could. It's a little zig zag away. I tell you what, let's save the game in the main hall. And then I'm going to zigzag and develop the film. And if I take any damage, we'll just load the game. Because I'm curious, and I like getting the whole story.
the police station does have such a sense of place. Like, I feel like I'm wandering around in an empty building. Pictured in front of the Arukas Taylor regressed into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of the epidermis in addition to feelings of nausea. This happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Picture by R. Lambert. Great, what does that do? That's nothing. Okay, cool. Cool story, bro. Four loading screens for that. safe so if anything goes horribly wrong trying to get past this liquor we can just come back Okay, he seemed to drift out of position if I stood still long enough, so we're going to try to wait him out a little bit. Imagine you're watching the local news and you're watching press releases from the local police department and they've got these like weird woman bust oil fired wall sconces behind them. You would think your local police were like some kind of evil cult. Okay, now it's going to be hard to get back over to that corner actually. How do we do this? I did it before. No, yeah, pick it up. Yeah, yeah. What is the G? G cogwheel. Gold plated, okay. Gold plated cogwheel. Nope, let's go. And we're out. Yeet. Okay, so we've got a cogwheel. The file was talking about a clock tower, which is a place that I don't think we've been. Yeah, third floor here. Okay, we went up there once, but we were missing this cogwheel. So, do we go back to the main hall to go up? Yes, because we go up through the library. So we go back to the main hall, up to the second story via the emergency ladder, into the library, up those stairs. And then I think we're in the clock tower when we use the cogwheel. I think that's how this goes. 
and along the way, we can drop off the lighter, because I believe we're done with that. I'm bound and determined to get out of this police station tonight. I think I got bit going through here before, so we'll see. I wouldn't mind not dying. I wouldn't mind not dying. Please go. Oh, Claire. Oh, no. Oh, Claire. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Is it? Isn't that like a separate hallway somewhere? Yeah, it's two separate hallways. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm planning on going back to either of those places, so... Did I need to bring the square crank? Or did I already use the square crank? Oh no, don't tell me I have to go back again. Oh, I've made a mistake. Oh, I've made a horrible mistake. <laughs> okay, do we try to run back or do I just load my game? Uh, I suppose we can try to run back and see if it goes very wrong. Oh man, I did not remember that. All right, it's a square hole. See, he is just right in the middle. Still fine, okay. Look, we'll just say we're role-playing. I made this mistake, this would be an easy mistake for Claire to make in this situation. We'll just say we're role-playing. Okay, well, now I've taken damage, but 
We're just gonna roll with it. I'm not trying to save scum or anything. Square crank. I'll take one green arm too. I guess I am very slowly chewing through those herbs. Just a scratch. Okay, please. Hey, we used it. First back to the second floor. Past Liquor Central. If you can get behind him and see whether the liquor is going to turn right or left and then you run around him the other way so that he has to slowly turn, that seems to be the thing to do. Getting better at that. Jury's still out. Data is chaotic. That, I guess, doesn't help you when you're facing them or they're facing you. save. Yeah, we've done a lot at this point. Let's save. 2-2. Two, two. I think we've got six ink ribbons. That's plenty. Now 
Now, we're going into the unknown. Do I want to bring a more powerful gun, like, say, a grenade launcher? I think I do. Let's see, we've got six red, which are flame, 12 acid, and the blue ones are grenade. Hey, we can put them all in there. That's neat. Okay. We've got nine explosive grenades and a bunch of bow gun. One small healing item. The puzzle things we need. It's nighttime and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Just saved, so we can go in fearlessly. Claire! Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Well, me too. just puts it in the right one. I thought this was going to be a puzzle or something. I guess that text doesn't mean anything because the game just like picks which one to insert for you. All right. Are you ready to go, Sherry? Mail to the chief. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the Mansion Lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will ha have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members. Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, I have deposited the amount of US $10,000 to the account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the Executive Board for Umbrella Incorporated. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project, continue to monitor their activities, and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. William Birkin To Mr. Brian Irons, we have a problem. I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through Annette. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus. Not even Umbrella. William Birkin. Another document you should not leave behind as you are fleeing the scene of the crime. Claire! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay?
Let's equip the grenade launcher. I've got a good idea. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry. Isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G virus. An ultimate bio weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Oh! I just can't take the pain! Do not want. Alright, well. Disturbing stuff. Formalin, chloroform, and other chemicals. Wolf. things on me. I'll go up the ladder. Oh, shake them off, Claire. Shake them off. Okay, I think we defeated it. <laughs> so we go get Sherry, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's a boss fight. Yeah, the boss fights in this game. Eh. I'm 
mean it was gross. That's something. Claire, you came back. I can't believe the man who developed the G virus is actually her father. Well, don't say it out loud, Claire. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! It's an online delivery. Hey, that's neat. We've got Sherry with us, so her little profile picture's on there. She is a member of the party. If only she could do things for us. <laughs> I mean, she's coming. Honey. I mean, she's got like six or eight inventory slots, right? That alone would be super useful. Here, Sherry, carry this. Alright, we're doing it. We are leaving the RPD. We're making it out. Next thing to leave, Trash Panda City. Get out of here. Oh no, oh no, not another Sherry section. All right, all right, here we are back with our first day spray in our picture. Okay. not saved in quite a while. But I suppose we're going to play out the sherry section before we can, so it's out of reach. Oh 
she's looking at something. Yeah, sorry. Nope, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Can we play right around the rest? Looks like we can. Sherry is the only 10 year old girl who does not know how to climb a shelf. Alright. We can do this Metal Gear Solid style. Oh no! Oh no! Excuse me! Oh no! No, 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 no! I'm still fine. Please don't kill me. Okay, was that successful? Sherry, maybe. Where are we at? Blue herbs. I'll pick them up. I rarely need them. We got hip pouches. I shouldn't have taken the hip pouch because the ability to load as many grenades as you want into the grenade launcher is a huge advantage as far as just you only need one slot for the weapon and its ammo. Sewer manager facts. User list of the connecting facility. On the first and third Wednesdays of the month, Angelica Margaret, chief of maintenance, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapors. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter Don Weller will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every other month, William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Incorporated. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. You will be informed of all other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Coleman, Secretary Chief, Umbrella Headquarters. All right. Is that something? That's something. Okay. I think this is a good place to stop. I said I wanted to get out of the RPD. We are out of the RPD. We're about to start in on a new area. One, 
two, five. We've got five ink ribbons. That's still perfectly decent. Right, we don't have a map of the sewer, so. Too bad. Um, I don't think we died once, believe it or not, even though I took some dumb damage from dumb enemies and then was really good on really difficult enemies. Uh, but we made it out of the RPD, Sherry made it out of the RPD, and promptly got lost in the sewers and maybe died, but you know, stuff happens. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you next time as we continue this game. Good night.